Hello everyone, this is episode 18 of the Assyrian Mongoose Campaign, a match that I've been going for Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword, a Caveman the Cosmos mod. If you want to check out that mod, check the forum link in the doobly-doo. Now, disclaimer, last episode, I was a great error, episode 17. I forgot to have my microphone on. Now, it was a fair amount of time and I had already saved and I realized my microphone was off. I was like, oh god damn it. So, it will almost be a film noir with lovely civilization music going on, so if you guys want to, you know, skip that, I will not feel as sad. It was essentially a build up. We now have metalworking activities. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get going. Start. <laughs> so England's still expanding. I don't know where. Bugs me. Something has declared war. England or Brazil? On me or who? Pedro has declared war. Okay. Let's see. Ah, yeah. The uh, battering ram stacks of death and destruction. Oh, let's send this over. It needs more defensive units. We also are going to need an uber powerful cavalry unit. He has focused a lot to three that cavalry will get their clip, so let's get these archers. So we need to put these troops into here as soon as possible. Can we oh we can kill them? Good, 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 good. We can already. Oh shit, it's almost dead. Oh god, run away. Okay, so. Dom Pedro's being a little twat, so maybe we should consider. No, that's really far away. It's probably stretching my lines a little bit too much. Hmm. And his battering ram that I'm really worried about. Apparently he has a couple of them. So yeah, we really need to... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um, we have shepherds. That should be enough for level 1 shepherd, so let's build him. Anything here that improves military? military? Oh, we're still in units. I don't need this. Uh, city defense. Let's get the spike pit trap so we can start damaging units. Um, don't bother with that granary. Well, at least we got most of the defense of this place up already. So it won't be too much of a pushover, but he's got a lot of battering rams. Um, will that be enough? You provide a military advantage against... no. You? Okay, maybe we'll build a Babylonian archer after we get this queue set up. There's not much here. That bothers me. You can't do anything, so let's just put you up here. Mm. 
maybe we could surround and destroy. Um. Okay, well, I suspected one of them was going to do something. I just didn't know who or when. Um. So we need to give Pedro a bloody nose. That being said, we need to kill these things. Okay, you go to the capital. So, this horseman. Needs to get there as fast as we can. Now, the battery rams won't be moving that fast, so they'll move there next turn, so we'll be okay. But we need to get there as soon as possible and start inflicting some losses on that stack. At least the cause on the back off. But we need to hunt it down. This is flat land, so it will benefit our cavalry armies. Um, we haven't upgraded our spearmen in that stack, but that's not going to be what wins this war. You don't have anything if you don't have the stories. Yeah, they definitely have enough force that they could easily take the city, so we need... That pisses me off, because that's our source of obsidian. And we're not quite far enough along the tech tree yet, where we can lose such a vital resource. Uh, I should have, you know, defended it a little bit better. It was bound to happen. I grew a little too cautious, uh, a little too arrogance uh, with my growing strength, let's be honest. Crime's down here. What did I want to do? Uh, nope, not food. Okay, what can we do? Oh, let's get culture. We need to make sure that if uh, Victoria does build a, a city up through here, that uh, we will take it culturally. So, well, we need to start winning the culture wars. I think we can win at least uh, militarily. I'm not too worried about Don Pedro. I'm hoping he doesn't take that city. It'd be a damn shame. Um. Let's bring this guy back. He's probably better off improving down here anyway. But at least we got the roads built up, so. Can get these units up here as soon as possible. Damn, it's gonna take us about three turns. I'm nearly fast enough. Can we kill this? No. Oh well. It served its purpose, so. Load that up. Keep that here. Tempted to leave that on the defense, but we should destroy. Okay, we still aren't attacking the top of that stack, and that bothers me. But at least we didn't lose too much here. Um, he needs to heal faster. That restores a lot of his strength, but not enough so we can take out that stupid battering ram, which I suspect is mostly going to take down our defenses. How much do we have? You have a hundred percent. Okay, well, that should buy us some time while we build up the mega horse unit. So remember how I usually typically just fuse three horsemen together? Well, I'm gonna do that another two times and fuse those three together to make an even bigger unit. Now this is uh, diminishing returns, but it will be stronger. 
Uh, and it's very unlikely that it'll be defeated in the field for quite a while. I didn't hear a loss of troops, so that's okay. That being said, um, we need to fortify that city a bit more. I let that go on for too long. Um... I lost a military captive, that's a shame. Don Pedro has a scout here, sitting on my ambusher. And I took it back. Okay. We need to defend even harder. Do this. Build up. We have horsemen here, so let's heal them better. And let's build up a veterinarian, field veterinarian, so these horses will heal faster. Eventually I'll have it just join the army. We have a high chance of losing him. I don't want to lose him just yet. Um, we're not doing too bad. I think we fended off... Yeah, the battering ram is pretty low health. Actually, I think he lost. No, he still got the strong one. Eh, we're not doing no. We're not doing too bad, actually. But as I said, he is taking down the defenses. I don't think he can take the city just yet. How far did he take this down? Seventy-one percent? Sixty-two? We're down pretty low. So we lost a lot of our defensive bonus there. Our archers are still strong because it is their terrain. But it's not going to last forever. In fact, I'm pretty sure he just took out all the defense here. No, nope, he brought it down to 20. Well, that's not too bad. It's not ideal. We are losing defenses, but they're holding off. The army's almost there. Ambusher yet can't. Let's uh, start building up uh, fortification so we get like a strength bonus. So I'm listening for the death throes of units in the great defense of Lonio. Silence is riveting. So riveting. Maybe they'll take this turn to heal. Oh, I lost something. Just one thing? What did I lose? Dom Pedro is willing to sign a peace treaty now, so... Oh, uh, what did we lose? Defending a worker. We lost a worker... Probably to... A wolf? Maybe? to work or two. Well, if I read this more, I would probably know. Yeah, to the wolf. And captive. Also destroyed by wolf. While defending, archer killed, stone maceman. Excellent. Well, that was probably the turn before. But Dom Pedro is willing to sue for peace. How are we doing? Yes. I don't have to worry about that scout. But let's... 
Let's take advantage of the fact that we have a general here. More bonuses, excellent. Minu. Let's just put him here. Actually, let's do this. Let's build up some. Probably gonna catch some slaves here. See, I don't mind the war so much, uh, to be honest. It's a perfect excuse to uh, get more slaves. And I didn't. I was kind of worried. Uh, he could have had some lucky rolls and uh, punched through the defenses. They weren't exactly incredibly built up, I'll be honest. Uh, it's part of my more lightly, lightly uh, defended areas. These, and then we fuse these together to form Mega Horse. No, all joking aside, it's got 13.5. Uh, Attack value. So that's going to be a part of the army. It's a huge investment. Might as well put it apart of this stack. Um, can you kill anything? Let's kill more of this stack first. So. They have an ambusher in here as well. It's obviously gonna run away, but he should be able to get a kill. And I don't need to build. Yeah, let's just take out that scout. Might as well. It's gonna be an easy kill for that dog. And the healer won't do anything. He gets experience actually by healing other units. Aziz. And this ambusher should now actually be yes. So now we're in a pretty good position. I know we have a horse here. Should be strong enough to kill this. So Don Pedro should is still considered to have a bigger army than me. But we did actually get a fair amount of wealth out of this whole es escapade of his, so you know. Did pretty well for ourselves. And our general is going to get more experience. So I actually don't want anything of his. What would you give me for peace? I don't want more. But he doesn't actually have anything to give me. Sure. You can go saw off and lick your wounds and build more slaves. I mean, soldiers, to me, they're slaves. So yeah, we got all of that pretty well. Also, the veterinarian that we got here, we're going to put that into the army. Uh, I only had him here because we had a wounded horse, and we needed that guy up in fighting form in good, you know, we needed it. So, that worked out. Key to victory is to get there the fastest with the mostest. Start building up our culture. Notice that we've been falling behind compared to a lot of other people in regards to culture. So, you know what? Let's get some more. Also works well for us too. Some wealth. You fight crime. Uh, Ryuga is doing fairly well. It's a nice port out here. Also, I'm more willing to build fire causing stuff now. Uh, there are more cities in the game, so it's likely less likely that'll fire for me. Let's get this bamboo armor. 
If our army ever comes out this way, we should upgrade them here. Pretty sure the bamboo armor can uh, be given to units. Uh, I like active units. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, okay, that was a good a good quick war. I'm okay with this. And our timer is about to go off, so I'm just gonna put it on stop and I think we'll do more turns. One more turn. One more turn. So yeah, we got there pretty quickly. So they weren't able to really deal much damage to us, so let's upgrade. We need Remember this is a flat bonus he gives to everyone. Do I want more withdrawal trance? Oh no, we'll get more strength. Strength is pretty important early on. This is the Ford Cavalry for this area. So that turned out to be the right choice. Maybe we'll get some city, like, crime fight through here. We also got a free siege unit. I don't want it. I will build better. And right now it's just a waste of money. To hold. I can always build out the siege units. I much prefer waiting to like, catapults fire. Unless I'm desperate. So unless I'm desperate, I generally don't worry about city conquest until I can, you know, build units that can bombard, like catapults and the like. Oh, so this army's slowly getting stronger. Eventually, we might want to consider a second army, but we generally don't have to. So yeah, we fought off Don Pedro. He is still considered stronger, but he doesn't have a mobile army, so to speak. And I don't like this. This wolf here. And... It looks like the Khmer Empire is, building, is going for masonry now. city. Excellent. Now we have two archers here. Build up the defense. Let's just heal up here and move it back to the center of the empire in case Egypt uh, decides to do what Pom uh, Don Pedro does. Maybe we should build some more military units over here, I don't know. I don't want to waste the resources on that yet. I'd rather build up. I probably won't get start getting aggressive until we get like monarchy, which increases our ability to hold cities. Uh, and the Republic. Uh, civic. So that's a, a thing to keep in mind. Uh, and and again, there's more resources that I would rather get um, through uh, so just uh, settling the areas other than taking by war. War is a hell of an investment. I'm not willing to make it the just Lord yet. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. You the could Lord do early game conquest. I think I could have pulled it off, peace. but 
again, I was falling behind, so I needed to at least level the playing field a bit. We are now leading in points. If we build up too much of a lead, I'll increase the difficulty. Um. Mm, maybe I'll build this actually. Yep, might as well. That's, a, that's not bad. And there's nothing pressing to build. Let's hook up this horse. So yeah, we got a couple captives out of that war, which I am happy, happy about. Captives are pretty useful. As you see, we've essentially improved the production capacity of this little, this nice little town. Just keep this guy here. When that finishes healing up, we'll move him back over to here. It'll take a far longer time to get to England. In fact, um, a response to that war, let's just build up the archers needed to protect. One. With Ron's working though, we'll unlock the next tier of archers. Um, Okay, uh, I see Victoria has adopt trade, so she's got the trading tax, so maybe she's beelining, uh, or, um, mm, the word will come to me, it's a, it's a word. She's probably beelining for, uh, writing as we speak. one. Ryuga's got some town guards, so not nearly as concerned. He ran away. Uh, you remember that comment I made? Oh no, you probably didn't because I didn't have my microphone on at that time. Yeah, as I mentioned, I just kind of wished uh, town guardsmen you could like fuse them together uh, into one, like three, and it'd still be worth at least one. I mean, the three as one unit. I think I think that would cut down on memory usage for units. Okay, the city that uh, held off an empire. Well done. Well done. That was crime here. It's on the downfall, so I think we recently fought crime down here. So. Yeah. We don't need to worry about more investments. It's winning in health, so let's get it fed. Look at that. 
Okay, no, no, no. One more thing, the healer set. The healer set's pretty good. That lasts for quite a while, actually, as a uh, building. It doesn't obsolete too quickly. Um, then we'll send this archer unit off to Ryuga. So, we didn't lose our ability to have access to Obsidian, which is great. So, thank you for watching everyone. This has been Aculares. Like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye